What is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Brennan Myers and welcome to the Create You Experience. Now before I die from so much brightness from this sun, I want to bring you an experience today, something that's a little bit different. Now remember, this experience, if you're new here, is something to give you inspiration, motivation, structures or strategies to implement into your life and your vision to bring it to the next level. Now don't forget we are on all audio platforms including Spotify and iTunes. So. Without further ado, Mystic7, aka Brandon Sig, what's up, man? What's up, mate? How are we doing today? Uh, we're straight out of the bush, and I actually brought you some of the bush uh, today as a, <laughs> as an offering. He's from, he's from Los Angeles, by the way. I like the hat, too. What's right? up, yeah. I'm from New York. What is the meaning of this? Yes, man, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, we're gonna jump into the actual experience. What are we gonna be doing today? Today, we're gonna be catching some Pokemon, attempting to catch them all. We're you know yeah, we're catching them all, man. <laughs> people always laugh at me. So, <laughs> what we're gonna be doing is going around Denver. He's a Pokemon Go enthusiast, he's a beast on YouTube, and across also, what'd you say? All right, all right, I'll take we'll all the fan it. messages off. We'll see it. Don't worry. All right, so we're gonna jump into the experience right now. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I like to see people interacting, people the coming up here. Big part of Pokemon Go, the community. Yes. So, without doing. further ado, let's jump right in. Come on. There. <laughs> That's what I say. So, Mystic Seven, man. Yes, sir. Brandon. Yes. What? What's the point of Pokemon Go? Like, like what? What's the purpose? So Pokemon Go, it's at the forefront of VR, AR gaming, which means you could not VR, AR gaming, which means augmented reality. So the world around you is the world inside the game. So you walk around in real life and find things in game. You look at it right there on the screen. Like, look, there's a little rat. Okay. These suck. So, you so we these. don't want the rat. No, if it's green, you want it. It's a shiny okay. rat. There's shiny Pokemon too. So, so we we find the Pokemon, and there's different yeah. levels, right? There's different levels to it. There's different levels of raids, but there's different kind of Pokemon. But like, okay, you see those little, those little things? Those are called Pokestops, right? So if you click this, that shows what Pokemon are nearby. And let's say this little love disc, right? This little, this little, this little cute little thing. You click the track, and then it shows you where that love disc is. And I would honestly really appreciate driving past that because the, the shiny love disc is out, which is golden, like that. What does that mean? Is that good? Is that like a good? Super rare. It's like a one in something. So you want to go get chains. that? Right Absolutely. Now. Yes. Like, like, oh, like this is actually happening. Go ahead, run it. Good stride, man. Dude, what is going on? Wait. For context, its shiny Pokemon has avoided me for over a year. I've diligently hunted it for a year, and I finally got it in Singapore actually last week. But there's a love disc right here, apparently. So the significance of this place, what we're at right now, is the Benedict Fountain Park. Okay. Which is the Pokestop. It tells you in-game where you are, essentially. And we're looking for the love disc, which we're supposed to spawn here. I'm quite confused. I'm kind of winded right now, I'm not but gonna lie, I don't run much. Okay, so there's a thing, there's these things called nests, which means one certain kind of Pokemon spawns there in like in a lot frequently. There's two love discs here, so we're gonna check it. Number one, if it's golden, we beat the game, essentially. Okay. We don't really beat the game, but that's like a huge monk. Also, uh, when you go to catch Pokemon that could be shiny, making noises like it really helps. Brings it. up your odds of. So you're telling me, shiny man over there is no longer there. Oh, we caught him. He's here. You oh, you caught yeah, him. Yeah, look, look, look. We, he's, we, we secured that back. Oh, I can't we, see it. Hold on. We turned that brightness up. Okay. See? He's right here. That was the one that was on the ground. Um, and there's another one right here, too. We'll, we'll catch it. It's not shiny. We already checked, but we'll catch this, too. So, so what does it mean that you got a shiny, a shiny one? Like, what does that even mean? Big part of this game, big part of the Pokemon series is shiny hunting. A shiny Pokemon is a different looking variation of the same Pokemon, but it's ridiculously hard to find. Again, I hunted for this for a so year. So what do you get from that? Nothing. Clout. So you're telling me, hold on, so you're telling me yeah. that you just came to Denver, yeah. and you're on the Create You Experience, yeah. and you just got a shiny Pokemon out of nowhere. Yes. That you've been searching for a year. No, but for the video, yes. Damn it, man. What is the purpose of Pokemon Go? I know what it's are like you a shooting for. I know it's a meme to say this, but like to catch them all. That's like literally there really is no end game, but like there's a couple things. You can catch all the Pokemon available, which is, you know, hence catch them all, or catch all the shiny Pokemon available, which hence catch them all. And then there's like PvP, so you can like throw some hands. Oh, you can play. You yeah. can play. You can that's a limo. You can battle against each other, um, and then you can <laughs> trade Pokemon, uh, and then you can do raids where like you and friends can team up to beat one big strong Pokemon, and then all of you get like a chance to catch it. It's really just, it's, it's about catching them all. So we are at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception here in uh, Denver, Colorado. I have no idea the history on it. But it's freaking gorgeous. I mean, look yeah. at this building. And in game in Pokemon Go, actually, we have this is called a snubble, right? Oh, that's not a snubble. That's a gym. That's sorry. This can be shiny. This has shiny potential. If it's white, it's shiny. If it's pink, it's not. It's not. This is what a shiny snubble looks like. 
right? So that's like nice special, it's like sparkly. That's the collector edition, and then this is a normal boring snubble. That makes me want to kick my phone onto the top of the cathedral. I hate this Pokemon. But the big thing about Pokemon Go, what I enjoy the most about it is the travel aspect. So coming to Denver, walking across this thing, catching some Pokemon inside or around this big beautiful cathedral. I'm a big history nerd. I am, honestly, and architecture. For example, the Notre Dame Cathedral was just up in flames. It was a news. I was in the cathedral five days before it happened, catching Pokemon. So, nice historical stuff. Certain countries, you can catch certain Pokemon, and you can only catch those in certain countries. So, in uh, in Europe, at the Notre Dame Cathedral, it was a Mr. Mime, which looks like a mime. In America, it's it's this thing. It's a, it's, a, it's called a Tauros. It's a big bull, because like, the Plains of America. I don't know. <laughs> Another big fun aspect about this game, this game is AR, which means it's like augmented reality, so it's like a YouTube. YouTube. It's a vlog. Oh, okay. Yeah. How are you? Are you doing well? <laughs> Good. Pokemon Go just brings people together. <laughs> big thing about AR and about Pokemon Go is that you can take a Pokemon. This is a shiny Dragonite. It's a big dragon, right? And I'm gonna take it out of the Pokeball. Actually, here, this will be. Show us, show us. Let me, let me, so we'll, we can put, see we'll put him in the grass there so we can fly inside the cathedral. So we toss him down, throw the Pokeball down, boom. And that's, uh, that's a Dragonite. So actually, we can walk around him. He's like there. He's like in our face. Yeah. Oh, so that's it. It's like right there. Yeah. So it's like it's like in real life. So like you can like walk around him, you know, like get up in his face. You can take pictures of him too. Yeah. This is like it's like so AR. It's AR. So you have that every like everywhere. It, it makes it like you know it's like it's like real life. It's the Pokemon. The Pokemon's there in real life. So guys, as you can see, like it's it's pretty freaking cool. It it's it really is cool. It's a unique way to explore a city. If you're in a new place, Pokemon Go is a fun way to kind of like travel around in, in game. Yeah, so if you're wondering what type of game you can play in a different city, that might be a little bit uh, unique, bring a little bit of enjoyment, yeah, adventurous, try Pokemon Go. So, that's the experience. I know it was a little short, a little bit of a, a, a pretty... Different big, flavor for today. Yeah, that, dude, that was so quick. It was just like, <laughs> you're here, and I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? And then a boom, and a boom. So, you see? He sees, a po he sees a Pokemon, so it's amazing. He's a great guy, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump on over to the podcast now, just dive in, peel back some layers, and, and bring you some cool, cool info that you might not know about. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. Hey, my name is Brennan Myers, and welcome to the Create You Experience, where we ignite your breakthrough, create your experience, and bring your vision to life. Uh, I can't sit around and wait till it goes right Cause I've been hopping over obstacles my whole life I got a vision and I know it's about to take flight I'm dedicated to growth, I keep my mind right I fell down, got up, I'm unbreakable Anything in my way, I'ma break through Lights, camera, action, take two Can't worry about what they do, you gotta create you Welcome to the Create You Experience as you heard it. I say this every time. Oh my gosh, he's doing a Superman. Oh, oh I'm gonna rip oh. off my shirt, you know? Is but I'm because, not actually gonna do it. Okay, before I introduce you to Mystic Seven. Oh, well, fuck it. Mystic Seven, hello. What's up, guys? What's up, brother? <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, brother. Um, before, dude, let me do my intro, man. Sorry. All right, thank you, bro. Thank you. So, <laughs> welcome to the Create You Experience. Before we jump into the actual podcast, we're always here on YouTube. If you're here on audio, then uh, jump on over and check out the experience itself. So what we do is we, we create something that's really fun energetic. Um, it could be a strategy, a structure, inspirational, motivational, anything and everything. We bring you an experience here on YouTube before the podcast so you could take something into your own life and learn something new. And so today what we did was uh, we caught them all. We Yes. We, we caught them all. We met fans. Yeah. We educated the public about, uh, about Pokemon. some sites, about the cathedral. Oh yeah, we actually did. Yeah. So, so we, we really went around Denver and we played Pokemon Go and we tapped into a few different experiences that I've never experienced before. It was really, really cool. But anyways, remember when you tune into the Create You Experience and you provide a review on iTunes, the link is in the description or in the show notes, I give you seven really cool gifts. I give you an ABBA program. I give you meal plans, like a bunch of different stuff just by giving me your email and putting in your iTunes review. It's pretty cool. So nice. five stars. Yeah. I'll be doing that after the show. Thank you, brother. Or during. Thank you. I'm going to leave that to leave a review okay. and then I'm going to come back. Okay. <laughs> cool. Go do it now. But Guys, thank you so much for, for tuning in for the Create You Experience where we fucking change lives and it's unfiltered. Let's get so it. So what's up, Mystic7, a.k.a. Brandon? What's your last name again? Martin. Martin, Martin. man. I just would Mystic rather Martin, say. Mystic Martin Myers. We have very similar names. Yeah, wow. Well, we should be brothers. I think we are. Brother. We're brothers, <laughs> brother. <laughs> so anyways, um, Mystic yes. is, is someone that uh, – very inspirational because he does something that's unique. It's not the same as everybody else. You know, you do Pokemon Go. You know, you really got on that wave. Yeah. And 
even more than Pokemon Go, you're big into mental health. Yes, sir. And with all of this and the way you provide cinematic feels to your videos, it's not just about Pokemon Go. You travel. You you see something bigger. You're building platforms. You're doing really cool stuff. So say hello and introduce What's yourself. Up? What the fuck do you do a little <laughs> bit more? Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, I am a uh, Mystic Seven. As, as you, you gave a better intro than I could give of, of and myself. By the, by the way, you can talk. So that that main one up there yeah. is. Yeah, gonna, how does this work? Yeah, that's the main one, right? Okay. Oh, hey, right. This is the one that when you're getting serious, you talk into the fucking handheld, and then Look when you're me. getting even more serious, you're me. talking to this one on the tripod, and then usually talk to me. Got it. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, so, brother. Um, <laughs> absolutely, brother. We're getting serious, brother. And now we're not serious because look at the main camera. So basically, I'm Mystic Seven. Uh, yeah, I go by Mystic Seven, and uh, I'm Mystic Seven. So it's, uh, I'm excited <laughs> Good, to be bro. here. Good, bro. Thanks for yeah. the uh, experience, and absolutely. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. No, I do. Uh, I do Pokemon Go YouTube. Um, I was one of those nerds that stayed with the game. Respect, by the way, not condescendingly speaking on, on nerds. Um, yeah, I was one of those people who kept playing past the second month of Pokemon Go, which was like 20% of the user base. Yeah, so, right. <laughs> um, yeah no, so I, I, I do Pokemon Go videos daily. Uh, I used to do them daily, and uh, I basically cover everything from what's happening in game, updates, events, which is happening a lot, by the way. Nothing happened in yeah. the game before. Like, the game dropped, and then, like, nothing happened update-wise. Um, now everything is happening. Like, like things happen, like, new things happen every week. New Pokemon drop, new Shinies drop. Right. It's an exciting environment now. Um, and then a big preface, as you stated, which is what we saw to, and did today during the experience, big preface of the channel is travel. Um, so go around the world. I actually flew in, and I was telling this earlier, I flew in from Singapore to L.A. where I live for 12 hours uh, and then off to Denver because I was here for a convention. I lived for health. 12 hours. I love how you said that. Did I? Yeah, you said I lived there for 12 hours. Oh, shoot. I, <laughs> I live in L. No, yeah, I lived there for 12 hours. I, I was, live I, in LA. I, I just did a 12 hour stay. It's whatever. Literally, at my own house. It was nice because, like, I touched my bed right. and then I left. Um, and then I made him leave. So it's now my podcast. But yeah, that's what I do. So I do Pokemon Go videos. I, you know, we're actively catching them all. Um, and then just trying to uh, travel as much as I can while I have this, like, really, really cool creative outlet that is profitable enough to be able to travel on. right and and that's that's the main thing about you man is that you were able to create not only a a platform for yourself but also create a business and be able to make money and take the an entrepreneurial route to yeah. where you are today but but hold on how the how did you get there what what is the pokemon go were you youtubing before that or like what's the deal what's the yeah. deal tell them yeah yeah so um you my youtube my youtube story into the camera serious it gets dark it's scary i started you yeah i started youtube back in the sophomore year of high school um, as just kind of like a, like, I enjoyed it. So I don't know if, uh, I'm going to name drop here. Uh, there's some YouTubers back in the day, uh, still obvious, very active now. KYR Speedy and his crew, they were like gaming guys and they were super funny. This is back in- Are you a gamer? Like, I was a gamer. Still am. Yeah, it's Pokemon Go's a game, man. MLG? It's MLG? I was not good. No, I sucked ass. But Dude, like, do you see, do you see my, my, uh, MLG, World of Warcraft? By the way, this is oh. like my story I'm in the background. No way. Yeah, he has no that. Clue. I saw the wall. It was like, I was like, this is fucking cool. But like, I didn't, I didn't see the wall, you know? Yeah, dude, I played Halo professionally. Did you really? Yeah, no, I don't fuck around. I'm a gamer, at heart. This is this is this is why podcast. I really like you. No way, I had no clue. Wow, <laughs> I'm learning more. about Dude, you want to be my best friend? Did we just become best friends? I think cut so. to cut to stepbrother <laughs> scene of of, <laughs> of 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 yeah, brother. I don't know the and hold names Holden, of brother, him. brother, step step brothers. <laughs> I say this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is me Pokemon Go and the word brother. <laughs> so brother. so so keep going. Okay, keep yeah. Going. So so sophomore year of high school, uh, I watched YouTubers and I thought it was like I thought it was funny because I was really big into Call of Duty. I loved Call of Duty. Um, had a lot of fun times with my friends, and I like watching Call of Duty videos because they were hilarious. Um, and then I started playing this game called Clash of Clans, which is a mobile game, super popular title. Yeah, back in the day. Um, and then I got really addicted to it. I was fucking good at it. Um, I set world records. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah no, he's a little Slight cocky. Work. He's Slight a little work. cocky, but that no, that's confidence. Yeah, that's confidence. exactly. It, I, I was just like, I had a very niche thing in the community in the world of Clash of Clans. Right. And then I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I like watching YouTubers for for. Uh, for gaming, I really enjoyed video creation, like editing, filming, all that stuff was really fun for me. Um, I had a YouTube channel prior to my main channel, which we're not going to talk about because it was fucking cringy. Here, okay, <laughs> one example of why it was cringy, right? I had a video in which I was a chubby kid in seventh grade with, you remember what a fedora looks like? <laughs> of course. I had a che checkered fucking fedora. Nope. Come on. Like, like, come on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, I'm, I fuck with fedoras. It's not no, a used so to, it's I. still, it's a still. Okay, okay, but like, but like, in context. I'm a chubby kid with curly long hair and a flannel that's too tight for him wearing a checkered. What type of what colored flannel? It was like it was like green, like like a like a dark green. Oh yeah, dude. You were 100% a brother. Yes, I was a brother. 
<laughs> yeah. So okay. Then I, and th wait, the title of the video was shout out to Fred. Like, <laughs> hey, it's Fred. Like that guy. Like I made a video talking about how how cool I thought he was <laughs> while oh, wearing a fedora. Sure. It was bad, right? So that video is fucking gone. That was deleted. Uh, then I created the new channel, but like that was like a testament to like yeah, yeah, I enjoyed yeah. video creation. Yeah. That's like what I did. Yeah. Um, I made like really shitty vlogs. Like back in those days. I don't know if you remember YouTube back then, but like you would go onto Fred's channel to talk in his comment section. Dude, I don't on know his Fred, channel. man. Really? Okay, the view. Some people got. It. He's like the the. Hold on, hold on. Let, 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 yeah, can we yeah. look it up right now? Just keep talking. Wow, I, I'm wonder, gonna... I wonder if his channel's still like there. He's like an actor for Nickelodeon now. Every once in a really? while. Really? Um. Yeah. Like back in the day, like his. Okay, so in old YouTube, there was a comment section on the YouTube channel where you could like actively talk or just leave comments and his channel was so big and so active that like it was a chat room so you would go in and be like sub for sub yeah that's fred right here at the top yeah yeah that's fred it. and the fred movie i watched that too and i was like hold on hold on yeah, that's it that's fred yeah <laughs> what in the world is this see super cool <laughs> this is like he's just that's his thing he was like it was like a pre Justin Bieber with a really high voice and just talked really fast. So what does he do now? Does is he still like what is he? Is, is, I don't know. I he he's old man. He's old YouTube. He's dude, like Shane Dawson. Eight level. years ago. La exactly. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like that. And ago. like Fred, dude, three years ago is when he posted his last video. Okay, so, so where not. is Fred? Is he okay? If anyone knows where Fred is, <laughs> contact. <laughs> dude, that's that's so funny. I'm over here like, yo, where is Fred, man? I'm I'm searching. No, so he well he he does like acting now. You oh, know? he like, does. Yeah, so yeah, he's yeah, big yeah. time. No. But like he does acting, like he's not like big time. But like so he, he acts. does the thing. But so the he, thing isn't really too much of a thing. Yeah, like he acts, but like he doesn't act. You know, like I you won't you. see him in like a Bobby Tarantino film. But you'll I see don't him know like who that is, film. but it sounds really cool. If you know okay, the rapper, now, okay, dude. Okay. Now we gotta freaking look up. Oh my god, Bobby Tarantino. Just... Nah, that's that's more relevant than okay. Yeah, but what a hall. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a. We're just gonna go about topics and we're gonna research. Okay? How do you spell Tarantino? Tarantino. T. Should I? Bobby Tarantino. Oh my gosh, there goes you just destroyed everybody's ears. By the Just way, sure everybody, um, everybody knew. Bobby Tarantino. Oh, that brought up the, the logic mixtape. Um, yeah, that's okay. Wow, this is a lot mean, of logic. It's I, not. I, I love how you type in Bobby Baron and like logic. Well, that's what he goes by. That's like one of his alter, like logic. That's one of his alter egos because he's like a big Bobby Wait. Tarantino fan. So oh, like he, he, dude, dropped, he dropped he so dropped a mixtape messed. called Bobby. T well, I don't know if he dropped him. I'm not I'm a big so, logic guy, dude. I'm really messed up right now. But is this Bobby? Kill us. Here it is. That's the actual Bobby Tarantino. Dude, good guy, man. He doesn't look like logic, but he's a lot more Tarantino. Yeah, not yeah. That's that's very. He had a lot of weekends in the Bahamas. Bobby Tarantino did. So, okay. Um, so, dude, dude. Wow, we just went in like a wormhole. I know, but people are getting so entertained by this shit. I'm just like, let's History go, lesson. let's go. We so, both had coffees before this. One yeah, we, we, did, we didn't make that apparent. Freaking destroyed. We had coffees. We had coffee. Hello, Love that coffee. Camera. Go join now. <laughs> Subscribe. Sponsored by Coffee. <laughs> Sponsored by Coffee Incorporated. Ooh, nice. Dude, we just formed that. You wanna, yeah, you want to build a business, man? You want to be a... <laughs> I got a great idea, guys. <laughs> I got a great coffee idea. LLC. You ever heard of coffee? What will the business do? Who fucking knows? Pokemon Coffee. I've been to the Pokemon Cafe in. Uh, but but uh, but we're not Japan. talking about the Pokemon. We're gonna cafe. do a Pokemon Cafe in America. Would you like to go to Japan, man? I've been. Oh, I go every year now for Pokemon. Okay, can I go with you next time? I go in August. It's like a yearly pilgrimage. For Dude, can Pokemon. I go with you? Yeah. No, like, are you just saying yeah because you're like <laughs> fucking with me, or you're like yes, yeah, bro. If you want it, I have I have some friends actively going on it. That's like a big fun friends trip, and it's Japan, so it's fucking dope. Yeah, if you want to come on that, it's like you know we're all influencers. Wait, no, are you kidding me? Like, can I really come? Everyone that's watching right now, you could come too. I'm not okay, not dude, guaranteeing dude, you're gonna like see us. I but thought I was fucking Japan. special. Man. No, I'm serious. You know, if you actually want to come to Japan, yeah, fuck yeah, it's like a big influencer thing for Pokemon Go. Just know there's gonna be a lot of Pokemon Go. Dude, I understand. You better, but I still it. want to go. Yeah. So I'm asking. Do you like ramen? Noodles? Yes. Dude, are you serious? I mean, Do you want me to go to my, literally to my, my cabinet right now? Can we have ramen on stream? <laughs> can we make can some we ramen? Fucking, <laughs> okay, like, sushi, you like sushi? This is, a, this is important. Are you serious? I'm just making sure because I have I, a lot of friends who don't like sushi. Do you think I'm a psychopath? Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Brother. All right, listen, everyone watching, get over the damn and texture. Listening, and, listening. and listening. Show some respect to the audio. Sorry, guys, sorry. Get over the texture, all right? I know it feels weird in your mouth. <laughs> just give it a chance. It whoa, 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 amazing. whoa, whoa. This is PG. No, it's not. We said fuck four times. Okay, that's about true. Fuck. going in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. YouTube already freaking put this in the mature section. <laughs> <laughs> We're already screwed. And then, and then, dude, dude, my uh, the podcast team behind yep. me, they literally always go beep on really? every curse word. I'm just like, can you guys <laughs> not do that? Honestly, let's make their job really. I was about to say, like, like you know, I, I think the that. beep is more disrespectful than the actual f word. It's funnier, honestly. I enjoy the beep a lot more. Really? Like, wow. Yeah. I have a friend uh, who would make videos, and it was like, what the bleep. And the concept was like take clip. I think I know who that is. It was, it was in KOR Speedy's game. It was a gamer. It was a gaming group. I know. I'm okay. I, I okay. Gaming. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so like the the preface of the video was just like taking clips 
and then bleeping out words, not all the time swear words, and it was just like like a, like an out of context clip with yeah. a word taken, and it was like really funny. Dude, when I walk into Whole Foods, I'll like talk to somebody. I'll be like, "Hey, can you please hand me the bleep?" <laughs> and they're like, "What the?" F-? And then you just stare at them. Yeah, just and wait to see what you, they do. The, the bleep, and then they're like, "The the what, sir? The the bleep?" Or like and you then, pretend to freeze. Like, "Hey, can I have the?" <laughs> and then just fall on the ground, you know. And then just fall. Yeah. And then see what they do. Bro, I like you, man. You're a cool Thanks. dude. See, this is this is the cool thing about the create you experience is that we always get to <laughs> Bro, I do this all the time. I like the I fuck? fuck with the yeah. Oh. Yeah, but but dude, don't do it like you're a mechanic. He's so everyone that's listening, he's like, like grabbing it like like he's fixing the mic, but he's really just trying to move it. I was a mechanic in a Dude, I do it like that. Like, like if you if you notice, like the whole time I'm like this. Why I'm is like, it so like limber? Boop, 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 you know? boop, boop. But it's because I make it like that, brother. Fuck, man. <laughs> brother. <laughs> brother <laughs> so so man so so what where does this personality come from um a coffee whole lot or of <laughs> i'm kidding cocaine okay interesting <laughs> all right so cut we it got, there we no, let's swears, end it there drug let's references no i'm kidding um no i i just i guess i'm naturally energetic i don't know, like you like where the hell does your energy come i don't know I, I have no clue i'm just like energetic. bro it's from my plants that are in my fucking apartment those are fake i see past that <laughs> what do you, dude, what do you dude, eat the plastic can you, <laughs> Like, can you not disrespect my place, <laughs> bro? That, Come in, you talk shit. Seriously, you talk shit. There's literally a rhino in the corner of this room, and it's staring at me. <laughs> like 50 can you more sh- seconds. Sh- show them, show the rhino. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like the rhino's going. Like, he's going out the window if he keeps looking. At me Come right. on, he's gonna man. Be, is this that, real life? Is this real life? Is this Dude, do you even know what the name of the rhino? See. Can we name the rhino? It's not named. No, no, no. It's still a baby. Still a baby. No. <laughs> you know, still like like if that was a big rhino, like this room would be fucked. This <laughs> podcast. <laughs> be intense bro i'm dead I'm let's fired. get a pet rhino <laughs> let's buy a house Dude, you want a rhino in it do you want to live in it no no, no just no, rhinos just the rhino oh my gosh a rhino let's, retreat a rhino and an ostrich okay what coffee incorporated is gonna do is bring in <laughs> animals like rhinos and shit <laughs> and, and ostriches. It's like, ostriches and ostriches can you please and it's like and a, a kangaroo zoo. please can we have a kangaroo in there okay funny story uh i was in australia two years ago because uh i went with my family my mom wanted to go to australia for a birthday we went for a birthday it was great Australia's dope. Interesting. I grew up on Steve Irwin, right? I fucking loved that guy. Like, rest in peace. He was kind of creepy, though. All right, I'll fight you. No, no, like, wait, 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 wait. Am I thinking about Steve Irwin? No, no. Steve oh, Irwin, the crocodile oh. hunter. Oh, no. I, no, you? I love Steve Irwin. Are you thinking of, like, Pee Wee Herman? Yeah, oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. Dude, 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 dude I, I used to watch those shows, and I would go to bed, and I'd be like, oh, my gosh. God. Like, like Pee Wee's, like, hair is, like, just poking me in my face. I'm like, oh, my gosh. What's- I never watched Pee Wee Herman. But I, I saw the memes. Dude, I'm really. No, but Steve Irwin's dude, not. Dude, let's pull up freaking Pee Wee. Okay, Herman. quickly, quickly. I went to Australia and they eat kangaroo there because they're a pest. But like, I fuck with kangaroos because I watched so much Steve Irwin, I refuse to eat them. And that was my story. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Really? God damn. Well, like, look scary, at Pee Wee. Like, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Wow. Lord, throwing the Lord's name in vain. At the 60. I, you just hit me in my soul. I'm sorry. This is one of the situations where like God needs to step in. <laughs> look at that. Dude, motherfucker. imagine if you're going to sleep. And you just watched Pee Wee Herman in his little house, his creepy ass house. And he's coming through and he's like, hey, you did something wrong. And you're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to die. Or like, it's like one of those scenes where like you open your eyes and he's just fucking standing there. And then you close it, you open, he's gone. It's like, what do you do? (laughs) Yeah, what do you do? Dude, you you know who else that like this just reminded me of? Blue's Clues. Did did you ever watch Blue's Clues? You know what? Listen, when Steve left, my heart left with him. Yeah, but so th- but Blues but Blues. so wait so he left and Blue's Clues you know. kept on going. You know, yeah, no, not it didn't it didn't really, but like it did. You know, like they had to continue it. Your computer's about to die, by the way. No, dude, dude, trust, dude, trust the process. Trust the light that computer up. <laughs> Throw some tea on there. Throw some the coffee. coffee on it. Not finished, by but the way. But dude, Blue's Clues, man, he was kind of creepy too. Like he kind of like it kind of. Yeah, dude. It, no, it, it kind of freaked me out sometimes. Really? Yeah, you don't think so, Steve? Dude, no. dude, look at him. He's like, give me your children. Oh, well, yeah, he's like puckered up, like reaching out to you. Like that's he's scary. like, he's like, hey brother. Oh here, just click that one. Here's oh, the, that's a good. Here, get this one. Click that one. Okay, that's a good like. Yeah. It's like, like, like that's like a like enter enter any meme about that like was more a girl respectful. with a nice ass walking. But about. but you know, like, that's what, like even even Blue's Clues, like he's tripping, bro. Blue's Clues is like what the, the who is this guy? Executive producer just walked by and, with and a. And you know what I was wondering? I was like, do they ever wash his freaking clothes? Because he always wore the same. Shit. That's facts. That's probably a stinky ass shirt. Super, super stinky. And then that telephone, man. Like, come on, man. They never even like That's like they never, e- they never even evolved to the to the flip phone. I don't know, dude. That's got like that has like that old swag. But you know what's creepy? What? You know what's creepy? Even more creepy than all of this? This random guy wearing yellow. Like, who is he? I, I don't know who that is. Was that the new was that the new guy? Ah, uh, that's like that's like the third reboot. Yeah, he's dude. got yellow. And then he looks like a normal kid. Like, like the, you 
Like, that's disrespectful to everything that we, we grew up in. Are you saying that Steve doesn't look like a normal person? <laughs> no. What are you trying to say? No, he looks like a... Is uh, it because he's wearing green? A genius. Is it because he's wearing green? Dude, it's going to be so funny if my computer just dies. In the it's going to, dude. There's like 10%. You left think, left. Br- dude, trust the process. That's a nice background. Thank you, that picture. Brother. Yeah, brother. I don't believe that one. <laughs> <In> a helicopter. <laughs> nice. I was the helicopter. The create you I was helicopter. Fl- yeah, the create you I experience. Was the Join now. Subscribe now. But but dude, all right. So, so the, I actually love just talking There's going to be a lot of tangents in this. I know. So man, like, all right. First of all, where is my charger to charge this computer? Yeah, you're going to need that. It, no, it's all good, man. Oh, here, dude. Char- <laughs> it's caffeine, man. It works. Here, yeah. Just pour the coffee on it. Here. Oh, my God. Oh, my no. God. Oh, my God. That was close. That was, yeah, it was a little close. So, so, dude, so you make money. You, you <laughs> What an intro. <laughs> Where's so, this car? So, you just make money. That's cool. So, you cool. make money. Um, and you... Have kids that follow your, your channel. Cool. Um, we're going to end it. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, wow, what an... What a, I make money and I have kids who follow me. Yeah, it's incredible, man. But but no, <laughs> in all seriousness, man, um, you, you come from from this background of like uh, of really being a creator, you, this creative mindset. What what makes you continue, what, pursue it, and, and just keep on going and going and going? Okay, so there's a couple answers to that question. So when you say what keeps you continuing as an... Okay, so I get a lot of questions of like, let's go specifically angle it on Pokemon Go, right? This is a game that like died like a year and a half ago. Like the, the popularity left, the views kind of left. Um, and then I have kept along with a bunch of others, like kept doing it consistently. Like we did daily videos when we, you know, like the game was like dead, dead. Like, like it was yeah. like, we were like considering like we got to leave, but like kept doing it. So there's, okay. There's the answer to like why I kept doing Pokemon Go, why I keep doing YouTube, why I keep Why do doing you keep this. creating? Got it. Okay. So I have like this, this weird itch for creation. Uh, it, this is like, I'm learning a lot right now about like human neurology and biology. Like we're like predisposed. Like you and I act a certain way, not because like we we came up in a world in which like it made us like like we. There's parts in our brain that make us act energetically that that are like make us good with creation, right? Like creative people are creative because of how their neurochemistry is. Right. Um. It factors in. Um. So like I'm one of those people that's just like relentlessly creative, and like I'll have YouTube going, and if I'm not doing a side project with YouTube, like I'll itch, and it's like it like it like fucks with me because like I I need to always be not only creating but like progressing. I, I need to be always working on something like growth, uh, growth, growth. Exactly, growth, and I'm like yeah. a workaholic. Like it's it's detrimental like your personal life because like you know it's like I can go out and hang out with friends or I can do this prod. You know it's like I, I like I like uh, I, I like not only create I like yeah I do like creating which is like like, like, like so business building and we can get in this conversation too with like yeah. the, uh, the mental health stuff that I'm doing. Um, it, it's 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 a startup company. It's business, but like what it is, it's creation. It's taking an idea, right? And I love this. This is my favorite thing. It's taking an idea, uh, a good idea, hopefully, and then creating something tangible on it, or something usable, or something that brings value to the world, or people using it, um, or just entertainment as like YouTube videos. Like each video is its own creative process of like you wake up in the morning, you're like, what am I recording today? Or like, where in the world am I today? And what can I shoot while I'm here? Um, and then you go about the, the the motions throughout the day, recording, you know, planning methodically. Um, and then you edit it all together at the end, and then you create this like beautiful baby of a video, you know, this beautiful product. Dude, it, dude, and and I think a lot of people don't really understand how much work actually goes into it. Oh, it's a like, lot. Like, like you used to shoot every single day and edit every single day, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. I did that as well. So yeah. I would go, I would work from early in the morning, and I would work all day. Yep. And then at night, I would sit down and I would edit for like, for me, I'm a really quick editor. Nice. So it'd be like two to three hours. Okay. Right? Yeah. And so. I don't know how many hours you would work, but like even sometimes it would be an hour and a half, depending on what I'm editing, like how long the vlog is. That's golden, I, dude. I like I have this like, yeah, man. I, I don't even want to get down. it. Yeah. yeah, I think Mike's. Have you seen me edit, Mike? Have you? You have, yeah. Like a, a, a little bit, a little bit. Like I edit fast. Like yeah, and yeah. I see it and I just go. Well, like the more you do it, the quicker you get with it. And I noticed that. Like I noticed that too. Like my edit time went from when I so I switched from like just gaming to like Casey Neistat meets gaming, like yeah, cinematic me too. vibe. Yeah, me, me yeah. meeting fitness. And that's tough. Um, and, and, and switching over to that's tough too. So like initially, like a video would take me anywhere between four to eight, four to eight hours, four to eight hours per day per video to edit. Um, and then I was what able to shorten that down world? to like two to four hours. And then when I travel, it's like, you know, a hundred clips and an hour and a half of footage, a lot of which being time lapses in slow motion. Yeah, so like, yeah, yeah. Um, those, those edits would be like four to six hours per Jeez, video per dude. day internationally. Yeah, no, it was a lot. Um, but like the videos came out crisp. You, they came out good. Gee, yeah, yeah, crisp. I hope they came out <laughs> After six crisp. hours, right? Like, you better <laughs> fucking come out crisp. Like, yeah. dude, I, yeah, that's exhausting. Like, <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. But at the same time, I know exactly. Like, like I would work out in all my, I would work out in my vlogs, yep. and I would be like, I'd be like taking five shots of myself in different angles, right? like slow mo, and I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? But like, for you too, like you're doing reps, man. That's gotta suck. I know. Rep- like you do like one, you do like an exercise, and then like switch the camera, and then go back to it, and then switch the camera. Like, like no, no, like, I would do, I would just do a full set, and, okay, then, I, and then I would change the camera angle, I'd do a full set, and I'll do, okay. yeah. So like, okay. just like when you would catch a Pokemon, 
Oh, I just like record it. Oh, you just record it? Yeah, it's like straight up. Like, yeah, that's cool. I, well, that's like li- done in live time. You know? Dude, we should yeah. go catch humans. But but respectfully, not not like okay, so, not so like coffee ink is going to buy houses and fill them with exotic rhinos, animals. rhinos, and then we're gonna catch people. And, we don't know what we're gonna do with the people after we catch yeah. them. But we're gonna catch them. <laughs> we'll put them in like the the dude. I'm, like, I feel like the coffee is wearing off a little bit. Is it? Is it for you? I ha- you um, have it a little bit extra. The problem is, I think, dude, I drank the whole thing. You did very you quickly. That. Yeah, he's I gonna fall that. asleep mid podcast. Like that caffeine's just gonna like punch him in the nose. Dude, I think I just got brain fog in the podcast. And 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 then yeah, and then you'll put the create you experience in the house with the exotic the, animal. It, it, it already there's a there's a I'm looking at a rhino right now. I know you guys. Yeah, you can see it on the video. I don't know if you you can't hear it. I would explain it to you for all of you audio people, but that'd be really weird. Like ASM. It's a, all right, all right. So put it this way. I put the you're the first person that actually sees the rhino. Mike, did you even know really? that we had a rhino over there? You didn't know that we had a fucking rhino. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, he's like, bullshit. <laughs> but like, I put a rhino over there so that like it peeks around the little the little corner. I like that. So like when you walk in yeah. and if you see it, first you see a cat picture and then you look yes. over there and you see a rhino peeking around the corner and you're like, right? what the what the fuck? Like, what's am, like what's going on here? And then you know you have all these words like vulnerable, creative, giving, determination, blessed, dope, and all of a sudden someone comes in and bag puts a bag over your head and it runs out. And then. Boom! That's our commercial for coffee, and then that, and that's, the, that's what we're doing. <laughs> wow, we have some work to do. After yeah, this podcast, we have some work. Guys. But but dude, so so that, this is really cool stuff that that like your story and what like how you came to be. Yeah. So talk about the mental the mental health. Why are you so big into it? Yeah. Okay. So and then kind of just like branching off of uh, what we we're talking about with like the insane amount of work hours that go into producing content on YouTube. I was doing um, and. I mean, I think we all can know by definition what a healthy lifestyle is and what a not healthy lifestyle yeah. is. I was doing uh, every single day. This is like 24-7. This is every single – every day. This is on holidays. This is on birthdays. This is over borders. Um, it was like a 18 to 20-hour average work days. Average amount of sleep was like two to six hours. Six hours was a really fucking good night of sleep. Um, and this was like over a year. This was like a year and a half worth. And then traveling too, right? So like I would go back to LA for a week or two weeks and then I'd leave again. So like I didn't have, like my home wasn't really a home. I didn't have a lot of friends. I didn't talk to people. I just produced, worked and traveled and then didn't sleep. And then I had excess amounts of coffee. It was bad. It was like a recipe for disaster. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it was just a really unhealthy lifestyle. And then I had a point where I kind of just hit a wall uh, and it was like too much, right? Like, like, like it was, I, I had, I had really bad uh, depression, uh, actually social media fueled too. A lot of it was from FOMO from, from basically sitting in my office for, you know, a year and a half, just working my ass off and then like checking stories and seeing friends right, like right, right. do fun, cool things that like kids do. And you're like, damn, I, I want to do that. Yeah. Well, cause like I was at the time I was like 20 years old, you know, and now I'm 21. Um, so I'm a lot older, but like, back in the day yeah. I was, uh, I was 20. <laughs> yeah. Th- like 19 and 20 years old. Like you usually don't cut yourself off from the world and just work. 18 to 20 hours a day. Like yeah. it was cool. You know, I got, well, you can, I mean, you're it, fucking 20 worked. years old, dude. Um, but yeah, so like I, I, I hit I'm a wall. 45. Um, I feel like I'm fucking 45. I, no, I really am 45. Are you? Am I? No, I don't believe that. I don't believe if that. you want to find out, Google me. I don't tell, I don't tell people my age ever. I feel like you've definitely mentioned it once in this room. And I've that not has once. I, I, Mike, have, that I, have you ever heard, Mike, have you ever heard me say my name? I heard, say, Do you know how old he is? No point. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I you know how old he is? All right, we're talking after this. We'll, we'll talk. Basically, basically, I, I just, it was a very unhealthy lifestyle, um, and I've studied immensely like what aspects of my life were unhealthy, and it factors into sociology right now, and especially modern days. There's a lot of cool stuff happening. Not cool stuff happening, but a lot of cool stuff to observe and watch yeah. happen. Because social media and text evolved, radio, yeah. another conversation. But basically, yeah, I hit a wall, um, and then I had, yeah, at the time, oh, shit. Hmm. I haven't, I haven't been public about this ever. So I, okay. For one, I developed anxiety prior to this, uh, the story behind that. Well, I'll, I'll tell it quick. Um, I was having heart palpitations, uh, up to this trip and I was going to Italy with my family. Uh, we were in a, an airport in Washington, DC, and then I was sitting down editing and then the ba- the plane was boarding. So I got up and then I felt lightheaded and I was like, Oh shit. And I sat back down and then I got back up again and I almost passed out and I was like, Oh, Jake, Jake my, Jake's my little brother. I like called him over. I sat down and then like I passed out. Not, I didn't pass out, but like like everything went fuzzy. I, you know, yeah, my heart yeah, yeah, was yeah. racing and it felt like the, it was like weird. It felt, felt like you were weird. having a heart attack or something. I, I, so I actually, and then I, you know, went, laid back down to the ground and like, yeah, the, the, the experience was I thought I was having a heart attack and I act, legitimately in the moment that I was dying. Like that was my yeah, actual, yeah, like yeah, that yeah. was my actual belief, like belief of the, of the uh, experience as I was having it. Um, yeah. So then I got fucking like put it on the, 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 um, put in the ambulance and like rushed out on the air mat of the tarmac. It was kind of a cool experience. The air um, mattress. Air mattress. They rushed me out on an air mattress. The little That's genie. What it felt like. The little genie right? grabbed me and boom. <laughs> and then survive. now we're here. Um, yeah, so that happened. Um, and then anxiety, I mean, there's a lot of causation behind anxiety, but one of it is like traumatic experiences. So like mentally for me, uh, that 
counted as a traumatic experience. So of since course, then I've had anxiety. PTSD. It's kind of I had it was it's it's what it's called a it's heart attack anxiety to where like you feel like ab, your heart feels abnormal, therefore you think you might have a heart attack coming on, <laughs> right? And it gives you anxiety. Yeah. So like that's what I had. Um, because after that I thought I had heart problems, not anxiety. I thought I had heart problems. So I went into the doctors and I several times over uh, some evaluations we determined that my heart was okay thank god um, but i have anxiety so i developed anxiety so i was dealing with that really so and i wasn't this is when i was in japan last year um i was in a hotel room in tokyo uh i was having really really bad anxiety really bad um I, my depression was just like off the fucking chains um i had for the first time in my life a heartbreak which is funny like like it's like cliche been there but like okay that shit hurt it you know what i'm saying like that shit hurt it um you know, hurt it's not a word no, I was like a, I was like an internet meme, you know, like that shit hurt it. That shit hurt it. Like, oh, damn, I, dude, I don't know, man. I'm fucking old, man. I'm 45. Are you? I like. How genuine? I don't know, man. You be on some like Benjamin you? Button shit. You don't look 45, but you might be. I don't. Do you know. see my gray hairs, man? No, I don't. I. No, still don't. I have, I've got some right here. I have some yeah, you're, you're old as shit, I'm a, man. I'm a, yeah, yeah I'm you're dying. dying. You're, you're dying. dying. My how old you are? So, so, okay, so you had like a, this I episode and it, it was just a lot okay. happened at once and you've experienced that too. I've heard a little bit of your story. I'd love to hear more. Yeah. Um, I, a lot happened at once uh, and then I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Like if I don't stop now, like it might get really serious. So, and, and for context this week, I was in Denver for the American Association of Suicidology Convention. Um, was fucking awesome. Uh, met a lot of really cool people, but it's like, yeah, like, like I got to like that point. Like it, it was getting scary. Um, it, it's called suicidal ideation to where like you're considering it. You're not going to act on it. Been there. Yeah. Been there. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Plenty of times. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so that's that's where, yeah, and you understand, and I'm glad you understand. So that's yeah. where I got. Um, so it was a pretty dark place. It was the, the lowest of lows ever. So I was like, okay, either I do something drastic or I completely disconnect and I like, you know, go, go home to the Bay Area, stay with my family. Um, so yeah, that's what I did. For two weeks, uh, I spent time off of YouTube. I had the most time I'd taken off of YouTube prior to that was maybe four days. And that was because, like, finals in high school. Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. never took time off of YouTube. That was, like, fucking unheard of. Um, so, yeah, before going offline for two weeks, I created a Discord server, uh, and it was a mental health server. And we scaled it to, like, 10,000 users in a month, which was pretty good. Um, and then it was, it was awesome. It was a very eye-opening experience. I had a lot, like, thousands of conversations with fans of mine over Discord. I was having a lot of email conversations, too, with, like, industry professionals. And we talked about this right, earlier. Right, right, right. Like, like, a feel for the... Because, for the, like, my, my thing was... And then, again, like, I like problem solving and I like creating, right? So it's, right. like, when I notice an issue, it's, like, okay, so there's a problem here. How do you create something to solve that problem? It's fun to me. It's, it's, it's like a fun... It's like, it's, like, how do you fix this equation, right? Or, like, how do, you, how do you solve this equation? So the equation that I had found was, like, there's a big problem with mental health. There's a big stigma surrounding it. The healthcare for it is shit. Um, and the overall public knowledge is not that good. And like, how do you help fix that? Um, so after after my, and I was very motivated, right? Cause I, I, I had a really, really big low and I wanted to like use my low as an example for people to help them come out of their lows. You know what I'm saying? And and you do that too, yeah. which is why I respect the fuck out of you. That's Thank really you, cool. Bro, I appreciate that. Um, so that's what I did. So And then and then uh, I got back onto YouTube. I, I put a big emphasis on mental health. I kept going with the Discord server. I'm very inactive on it now, unfortunately, because now, um, I took what I learned from the Discord server and then I've been studying social media and like the psychological and sociological impacts of social media um, a lot. It's a big fucking, I, I'm a nerd massive. for that. Massive. Dude, that. this shit's massive. It's, uh, and it's, it's so cool because like we don't know. Like it's not that we don't know but like it's not public knowledge because like social media is so new um, that we just don't know how like it impacts us, how yeah. it affects us. Like I, it's very exciting. So basically, uh, I, I'm now creating my own platform for mental health. Uh, it's going to be an app but we're going to launch a website MVP just because like business strats, like that's probably the best way to go considering, yeah. you know, so Doing that, um, and then going to create a new YouTube channel pretty soon here, specifically dedicated for mental health. It's amazing. Um, so just trying to like pursue the mental health world, but pursue it in a way where like I'm not a nonprofit organization that's you know counting on government funding and can't do anything without that. It's like you know how do you generate revenue while creating change, while creating infrastructure, like 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 a startup business take on the mental. Basically, dude, this is big. This is. Fuck, man. That's my story. I hope you enjoyed my TED talk, dude. Um, that, seriously, do you want a TED talk one day? Yeah. No, fuck yeah. Well, the thing is, like, and that kind of stuff, like, I would love to write a book one day. I'd love to be, be able to get in front of audiences and speak one day. But, like, I don't feel like I've done enough to do that. And it, I have big plans. And when I execute those plans and they work, then I'll be comfortable and be like, okay, now I can sit in front of an audience and bring value enough to be on, like, a TED Talk or, like, write a book. You know, like, like I, I've got big goals that I need to get done before I do that, but I do definitely want to do that. See, I'm getting very, very close to writing my, my like, so I wrote yeah. a book myself. Hell yeah. My, like, I publish it myself That's and everything. Tough. Um, it's no, called anything impossible. is possible. Yeah. It's, it's on, it's on, uh, Amazon. And so nice. the way I did it was, dude, I just wrote, 
Yeah. Like, when I get in a, cre- you know the creative mind. It's yeah, like, yeah. it's like you just go and you go and you yeah, go. It's called flow, yeah. actually. Like, flow. it's cognitively called flow. Yeah. It's when you're in like a state of, of, of focus on whatever task yeah. you're doing to where like everything else kind of zones out. Yeah. So I, I got in that state of flow and I, dude, like I was writing and writing and writing oh, for yeah. days and days and days. And I created this and I taught people how to train. I taught people how yeah. to like literally make their own programs. Yeah. Literally just make everything for themselves. And right. it was like 299. I was like, I want to, I want to get, help people yeah. in a way that's like and, and i was young though i was young so i didn't know all of my how I, are you? I, I i can't tell you i, tried, I can't fucking I tried, tell you. I yeah you can try as much as you want but i was young man i yeah. was young i was six <laughs> wow okay yeah, i wrote my, my, my first book yeah benjamin me Blood, and peewee you. me and peewee herman you, wow that was yeah cool. yeah and the that's rhino awesome. and then i are i already came up with the idea for the coffee corporate by the way i'm gonna be the ceo for that and the majority holder for that Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so agreed. No, but yeah, man, I, I've, I've done that. And like, just like you said, uh, don't rush things. It, mm-hmm. It's so important. It's like, don't rush into things. Uh, take your time. Yeah. Take your time because you have the, your whole lifetime. Well, to that's the thing too. Things. Like people undervalue time. And I mean, people undervalue time, but like, like a young kid will look at what they're doing in their life. Like, a, <clears throat> like a 20 year old kid and then be like, Fuck! I'm not doing anything with my life. It's like, dog, you're 20. Like you don't have. Yeah, to but at the same it. time, you say that, and you're 21, and you have, you're on the top of the world. Well, like I'm like a, I'm like a, I'm like a, I, I hit the lottery, is what happened. You know, I hit the lottery, and then I, I got it was lucky luck? enough to do it. it. Oh yeah. Oh, and this is, I'm reading about this too. Um, you uh, believe in luck, man? Uh, oh, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's statistically a thing. Yeah. No luck is but, absolutely. Bro, a thing. But, bro. Like, like there's like random occurrences that happen. Like, like luck is a thing. Like, I, I and I, I don't oh, have enough background dude, I, knowledge. I just don't to, like, like really to. I just don't like to. I, but I don't like to give into like contribute things that happen to luck like things happen for a purpose kind of yeah, stuff I, I, do, I, believe I, do. Both. I believe in both i believe in both yeah I, I it's a very interesting thing so so you believe that like you were just placed in an awesome situation but i also think you can create your situation oh you absolutely can, you can create and, and you've created what you've created well, yeah yeah uh, it's just like talking on the topic of success because like you know we both uh, amounted to a level of success. like success like the equation for success is success equals luck plus talent right like you're good at something you have an understanding and like for youtube it was, I, I didn't, I didn't blow up on YouTube because I was, you know, good at it. I was, but so were a lot of other people. Uh, I blew up on YouTube because I just, I uploaded the right game at the right time and it just happened. Like things work out, but like you find yourself in moments where it's like right place, right time, which is like A, destiny and B, luck. Like there's a little bit of both, you know? I, I don't know, man. Really? I just don't like the word luck. Dude, that, I, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Thank you. I understand. Okay, cool. So I'm right. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> we're going <laughs> to. And off to commercial. Cool. No, Create your I, experience right now. I totally like I, I, not using the word luck. I totally get I, it. I, I get it in some way. Like, I, I guess I don't like the word luck. Wait, so why? Can, like, like, I want, I want to because know Because I why. feel like when, when, I feel like when we use the word luck, yes. it, it takes away from the strategy and the hard work and the Got consistency it. and the persistence of our, our mindset and of our vision. Got it. And, you know, even when you win the lottery, right? Yeah. If you didn't go and get that lottery ticket, Absolutely. if you didn't tell yourself, I'm going to open the door, I'm going to come in here, I'm going to grab that lottery ticket, I'm going to pay for it, yeah. I'm going to walk out of the store, then that, that would have not happened. So it actually was like, in a way, you were in control like of causation. the opportunity. So like the causation part of it is where I'm like, boom, I don't really believe in luck. Oh, yeah. Now the lottery, I get it. Like, I just don't like the word luck. I, <laughs> I, I really don't fucking like it. Just like the word sacrifice. I just don't fuck with the word sacrifice. Really? Yeah, Why? man. Because I just don't feel like you're well, a guy who, who who you sacrifice a lot to do. No, it. no, 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 man. I okay. surrender. I surrender it all. Surrender. I, yeah, I it's surrender. I no it's because no because surrender. Different way you, of thinking about it. Surrender. You give. Okay. You're you're literally purposefully. Yes. You're driven by giving a part of you Got it. or something that you're working for, whatever it is. To something else, another opportunity for an overall vision or whatever you you, you stand for. Yeah, sacrifice yeah. is attributed for the majority of of the time something that you're letting go of. Yeah, you like sometimes you don't even have a choice. It's just I'm gonna let, I have to let go of this rather than I get to give you this. Okay, I get to go to battle for my country. Yeah, I get to do this rather than yeah. I have to or I had to sacrifice my life. I got shot and like I I did I had to do. Like you didn't sacrifice your life. You surrendered your power. Uh, not your power. Sorry. You held your power, yeah. but you surrendered something that, that was a part of that. I, That's how I feel. I think, okay, we, we, I think we both believe. So let me, let me use this in this, like, a, like a sentence. Okay, so for example, um, I, I, like, I, like, I like the word allocation of time and reallocation of time. I love mm. that. So right now, for an example, I'm 
I'm reallocating time away from my YouTube channel, which is why my upload right. schedule sucks ass right now, okay. over to the Mental Health Project. Welcome to the Suck Ass Incorporated, suck where ass. we sell coffee, and we have rhinos and, and dirty animals, and we kidnap people yes. and put them in the house, and... We don't point at people. <laughs> and we don't point. Okay, so, and then, <laughs> to the point of sacrifice, so, for example, in order for my life to work, I'm surrendering time and reallocating time from what I could be doing to what I am doing. Yeah. But like, so w when I say sacrifice, I mean, I mean this, and this is what fucked with me a lot when I, when I was having like the FOMO from uh, the social media. I'm sacrificing the life of a 21 year old, like a normal 21 year old. Like there's experiences that you get at 21 that you can never have again because you're not 20. Like it's, it's different. You can still go out and party, but like as a 21 year old, there's things that like you, like going to Cabo with a, a group of a bunch of other kids, you know, like. I think, like, is, dude, I, I think, I think that's, that's grabbed by society. What society oh yeah. says though. But it's like, it's like, it's like those experiences. And there's, 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 I mean, there's, there's genuine. This is like, a, bro, this is even negative self-talk though. Like oh, no, even no. saying, even saying this type of stuff yeah. because. Bro, I didn't start partying until I was a little bit older than 21. You know, like how long ago was that? <laughs> many, many years, <laughs> centuries, centuries. Wow. Since I was Benjamin, 45. Benjamin Button. Uh, but yeah, but like, dude, society said when you're 21, gotta go drink, gotta go party, gotta oh, get yeah. fucked up, d like. And with rock out, brother. Like, we want to get like economical with globalization. That whole yeah, like all, all this shit. Too well. But like, my 21. Yeah. Was later. Yeah. And I can't like how, tell you. How, later? <laughs> yeah, like how many years later? How many years talking? later than twenty one? <laughs> like, you'll find out my age, but um, yeah, that, that's the way I, th I I think of it. Like that, like I think we have the same mindset behind it. It's just the word. I, and I was about to say, I I like how you think because okay, so with you, it's like certain words contribute to certain ways of thinking. Yes. that don't aid create, in create or yeah, create. and like and like cr will create in like like your progression or positive. Yes, progression. yes, yes. Like yes. like okay, so like for you, like there's certain words that that people will use and then they will use that as a way to hold them back. Right. Okay. So, so society, the way, the way society hears sacrifice. Yes. When you say sacrifice, what do you think of immediately? Jesus. Right. Actually though, actually, actually. Right. But yeah, I mean, sacrifice. So Jesus, like what giving, else? What giving else? Giving it away. Uh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> can we zoom in on the blessed? We need some blessings today. Sorry. Thank you. Brother. Um, but, but yeah, sacrifice. no, exactly. It's like, it's like, you a know, war, like, like a troop war. soldiers. Yeah. Like, like you're giving up. You're giving up your life. Yeah. You're giving something up by choice. Like sacrifice but no. is like but, sacrifice. But like, well, a lot, a lot of like sacrifice is a lot of times it's by choice. Right, right, right. You know? But 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 you're like or give, situation. It, Maybe not I, that that was that was that was said wrong. Not by choice. Like you know, yeah. I mean, yeah, well, kind of, kind of. Yeah. Kind of. But like you're letting go. Like you are literally letting go of yourself. Got it. You're letting go of your of of part of your passion. You're yep. right. Rather than here, I'm aiding in this. I'm giving. Jesus didn't sacrifice his body; he surrendered his body Max, yeah. to the world. Well, because like, he had like he had, like, he for, had a for cause, me. You like, know? like, hold on, really quick. If you if you believe in something different, it's completely fine. Where I where, like this is my faith. This is his faith. Okay, completely fine. Right. So like in my mind, we, but we can all take it in context. Yeah. So like, yeah. For me, when they say Jesus sacrificed all that he had, like for everyone. You know, I, I, I like I don't resonate with that anymore. I'm like, he surrendered what he had for everybody else. Fair. Yeah, it's just like a different way of thinking about the word. That's yeah. how it is. Because society literally is all about sac like sacrifice this. I'm sacrificing. I'm not gonna go to bed. You're it fucking up your negative, health. Right? You're it fucking up your health. That's what you're doing. Yeah. You're sacrificing Sleep is your important. health. Your circadian rhythm, depression. You can you can have depressive symptoms but not have depression. I'm not fucking clinical, so don't take this for Yeah, yeah, yeah. But opinion. No. This is opinionated. Yeah, sure, way. yeah, exactly. Um your circadian rhythm is is your sleep cycle. The sleep cycle. So if you have an irregular sleep cycle, your circadian rhythm is off. It's in your brain. That regulates your mood, right? So if you have depressive symptoms, it could be simply because you sleep like yep. shit. Yeah. Um. And and it regulates your mood. Then you have a bad mood. Then it affects the rest of your day. It affects your thinking neurologically. Like this, and then you try and drink coffee. So you take important. a bunch of coffee and then you start getting used to caffeine. And then you start having caffeine crashes. And the caffeine crashes cause this and then that. You can't crash if you keep drinking it. That's what I learned. I drank a lot of <laughs> coffee back Dude, in my day. Can you not? Drink a lot of coffee, a lot of Red Bull too. <laughs> tangerine Red Bull fucking smacks. You like, I love you won't tangerine. go through a, any any feeling of addiction if you just keep on going. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> like that's, no, no, that's, that's so no, bad. Okay, like, so do like, not do listen. Yeah, like, stop you're, now. When you're doing twenty hour work days internationally, there's no way in shit you don't drink coffee. Like, you have, dude. To. I don't think you know me. I feel like you're just like a natural. You have no person. clue, bro. Mike, yeah. how fucking insane am I, bro? Like I, I think a, I might be a, a I, I might be a lunatic a little bit. Nice, but not so much, man. Okay, because I'm a sacrificer. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, right? right. I sacrifice everything. He used the word. He was, did you I'm just, right. Oh, do that again. Do that again. What? Oh, point at me. I dare you. <laughs> Tell me your age. 
I'm 2015. <laughs> ah, wait, 2015. How old were you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How old were you in 2015? 2015. Yeah. 43. Damn. <laughs> Benjamin Button, ladies and gentlemen, with so, a rhino. So, so, dude, mental health. Like, what would you? What? what what's your goal with this? What's yeah, your overall so, goal? Funny thing, actually, uh, I, I had a really great conversation, and the same question was asked, and I took like a paragraph and a half to explain it, and okay, then yeah, let's try and keep it. You know. For for business pitches too, you, it's it's called a two second, two two second, two two sentence pitch. Like, okay, what's your picture? Pitch? What you're trying to do? Give me your pitch. Exactly, I'm trying to create positive change and progress human species te- with technology and online influence, specifically with mental health. And that helps with so so really what you're doing is you're creating you're creating a vision for people to follow and to for people to to start navigating into infrastructure so that it yeah infrastructure so that it it it, it it navigates away from mental illness and moves more into visionary based opportunity and creative mindsets and op- like really getting yes. away from that sector. Yeah. Mainly, mainly it's just like, especially now, like we have a, it's called, it's an epidemic right now. Like, like the suicide rates are as high as they were in the great depression and our economy's fantastic. Bro, I had thousands of people. I made a poll on my, on my Instagram. Yeah. I had thousands of people that literally said, I'm depressed or I have a lot of anxiety right now. Right now, there's record level. I mean, anxiety and depression and stress are like, it's probably, again, not clinical. This is not a studied fact. This is just off of like observation. It's probably the highest it's ever been in like human history right, right. now. And it's, I'm, and there's a lot of factors. Um, and, and you know, we, that's a big conversation. But like, yeah, I mean, there's a lot happening right now. So my, my idea with this is that a lot of this is caused by extreme progression. As in like things are happening too fast. People can't keep up higher levels of stress. In people's lives, stress causes mental illness. It's like one of the biggest causes, right? So higher levels of stress, people are going to be fucked up. It's just how it works. That's how my life was. Um, so we're progressing so fast right now that we're getting to like, I want to be able to continue human progression so that we can progress as a series, see us as a species without self-destructing, especially right. with technology and especially with social oh, media. There it goes. Look at that. My freaking computer just died. Oh, well. Rest hey, in look, peace. this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. Yeah. This is what we're going to do. Okay. I'm going to shut off. Actually, you know what, Mike? We're talking on audio. That's all good. We have three different camera angles. Can you go grab my charger in my backpack and then uh, come bring it to me? Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. My backpack's right in my bedroom. Oh, by the way, we, we like the whole podcast is in my bedroom. It's freaking awesome. Really? It's yeah. This is your bedroom? Yeah, this is where I Where do you sleep? On the table? <laughs> I sleep on the table. Create your experience, nice. baby. That's why you craft but, it. But, dude, anyways, like. Me- Mental health. The, so what I, what I learned from this convention, which was a great convention, there were like 1,700 people who were fucking geniuses in their own industries. Right. Like, like all these industries. Um, but what I learned is that there's, it's a very big uphill battle. Um, and there's, there's, this is the beginning of the road towards progressive mental health. Right, right. Mental illness. Keep talking, bro. Keep it, talking. Yeah, okay, so, so it, basically there's just a lot. Okay, I'll talk to you. There's a lot of work to be done in this industry, uh, which is exciting for me because I'm a problem solver. And this is, it's, it's fun. Um, and there's a lot of people's lives to positively change. And yeah, my whole thing is like, you know, how do we keep progressing as a human society without self-destructing? Because it's happening right now. So how do you fix that issue? Um, and, and that's what's happening. So I, I, my vision is just to do that through tech because tech's the obvious answer to this. Um, it's one of the causes, funny enough, but it's an answer as well. And it's the future. So, the so, future. so how do you target is, on social media tech. though, man? Like, as like, in like how do you target people on social media for them to believe in that vision and like really really tap into their the minds to, to get them out of depression or, in, or like anything. Can you grab my phone right there? That'd be great. I have, I have a, I have a, um, thank you, by the way. I was, that was very like aggressive. Grab my phone. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm reading a book right now. It's on, uh, it's on human neurology. And what uh, is it like? What is this? What does this attribute to? Well, okay. So, so, so this I, right now, I, I didn't go to college, right? We'll just put that out there. Uh, and I'm getting into a world where like, it's very, very clinical. So like, I'm trying to learn my, the most about Psychology, sociology, biology, neurology. Cog- so I'm reading a book. It's called Thinking Fast and Slow. I would absolutely recommend oh, it. Oh, yes, okay. yes, 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 yes. No. Okay, it's great. But uh, I've heard of it, and I've heard a lot of really good things about it. It's about cognitive deci- cognitive decision making. So like why wow. why like why you go about? Okay, there. Hold on. There's um. There was a great quote from it that actually goes right to that. Um. Uh, oh shit! If I can find it, I, I write a lot of notes. Um. Say 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 the title of it again, so people that are listening or watching can. can yeah, the book's it. called Thinking Fast and Slow. Okay, so here, right here. Um. This book is great because like you learn a lot from it, and this is the reason why. And this is this is what I'm gonna deploy, right? Okay, here's the here's the there the the note. You are more likely to learn something by finding surprises in your own behavior than by hearing surprising facts about people in general. So if you go Ooh. and say suicide rates are as bad as they get, to someone who doesn't have suicidal ideation, maybe has like doesn't feel good, but or never like, experienced it. Yeah, like that's not gonna resonate. But if you're like, you know, if you give an experience of like social media causes loneliness because it causes you to compare your life to the lives of those who have seemingly better lives, right? And it immediately opens up like, like a space. Someone can personally relate to that because like, 
oh yeah, like I do that. And then you explain that and you explain the cause and effect of it. Like, like, like the messages that I'm giving isn't like, I think this way and I think it's the right way. So I'm going to push my agenda. It's, this is what's happening. This is why it's happening. And here's how we're going to fix it. And here's how I, we need to fix it. Like, this isn't like, this isn't like a political, I'm pushing an agenda thing. This is just like, like I love progression and I see a big issue here and I'm just trying to problem solve. Um, so to how to get people to believe in my vision, it's just to prove that shit's not working like it should and to help people open up and realize why they're not feeling so good or why they feel anxious or stressed out or depressed um, and helping correct that. What do you think the leading cause is to that today? 2019? Yeah, so again, again, I'm not a clinician. So like I, I've heard a lot of opinions on this extreme. I, this is very general extreme progression. And if we want to get more, more in tune with that uh, tech, I would say is the leading cause. And, and again, that's a huge oh, what part of tech. Like, like what, what do you, where do you think is like the lead? Like, come on. Yeah. So, like, okay. So uh, for example, AI in, in the next, this is a, this is a statistic uh, in the next decade, 10 years, 40% of jobs will be gone due to technology, due to AI, 40%. And if you think about that, if you're, if you're a person, like you're a trucker, right? Um, and you, you will know, you know, they're going to be out. Soon. They're going to be out probably first. Exactly. You know, statistically your job is going to be gone. You don't know anything else but trucking. That's a fucking stressing life. Yeah. Or stre yeah. Like you're stressed out, right? Like, like that's one. So that's a causation of technology. Um, social media is humongous. It, it's, it's, it had the opposite effect of, of what they thought of like worldwide connection. You know, people would feel more connected. It, it's, it, there's a lot of nuances of social media that prevents, um, positive change mentally. Right. So like you, this is like the loneliness generation ever you, you see rates through the but roof at the same time, but, but but hold on. Yeah. At the same time, it's one of the most creative oh, generations absolutely. ever. Yeah, I mean, oh, what well, I mean, definitely, and and I mean, the thing is, like, like creativity has never not existed, but societal levels of loneliness and stress and depression, anxiety and suicide, like we're seeing now, also has like, dude, like I that can't has stand that stuff, man. I, damn, dude, it, it's, it's like, like, you know, like it's like we sit here, items. but 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 think about this. Yeah. We sit here, and there's millions and millions and millions and millions of people that are suicidal. Oh, exactly. Literally in their minds, thinking. I don't want. I don't want to be here. This is why I shouldn't be here. Isn't that crazy? Ah, oh, dude. And there's people. Because I was just like, there a year and a half ago, man. Yeah. I was oh just, yeah. I was just there looking at my at the the the, the fan in my room. I was there like thinking about putting. Ago. Yeah, Six dude. Months ago. Right. Like I was looking at a fan. Yeah. And a rope, and yep. thinking of of like literally, I'm I I don't want this anymore. Like I'm I I can't do this. I can't handle it. Yeah. And the fact is that. Like it's it's so it's everywhere, man. Like people that we don't even know are going through this shit. Yeah, everywhere, and it all starts with something small. It all starts with like maybe a stressful situation, and then it stacks up and it stacks up and well, it stacks up. And there's a lot of like traumatic experiences that happen. This is like how depression works too. Like one traumatic experience, and then because of that traumatic experience, it's bad lifestyle choices, it's bad decisions, it's just un unfulfilling. And they don't deal with it. And and here's the well, problem yeah, exactly. is that is that like one of the biggest causes mm. that I've seen again opinion yeah. is. People don't deal with their problems. And when they don't deal with the problem or the traumatic experience or face it head on after or embrace it, mm. they don't know how to deal with anything around it. And think of it, so think of it this way. So when you have that big experience, it takes a lot of, of self-motivation, of self-love, of self-awareness to be able to take that head on and fix it. Or you need a coach or someone to help. Exa ex exactly. So, so when you have that big thing and then you have all these little things piled on, you can't just tackle that big thing when you have all these little things piled on. You have to step by step take apart these things and make a healthier life because you have to be mentally and emotionally strong enough to tackle that big thing. It's not an easy thing to do. Dude, ugh, um, this gets me so uncomfortable because I, oh, I just want to, I, I want to get out of this chair and just yeah. go sprint and like, do you need help? <laughs> like, like run by things. Do man. you need help? <laughs> I'm here for you. Coffee incorporated. And right. And we help people. <laughs> that's so that's my big thing is like, I can, I can sit in LA, I can business build, I can make channels, sit back and just, you know, make a shit ton of money and then have a fun LA life. Right. Like that's a possibility. Uh, or, take what you've built and use it to create positive change in the world. Yeah. I want to leave a legacy, not like, oh, that's the guy who did Pokemon Go YouTube. It's like, I'd like to like do something bigger and broader for human. I, I want to progress human society or, or you know, I want, I want I'm to, a part of that, man. Dude, yeah. by the way, like I'm, I'm in full support of whatever you do. Yeah. Thank if, you. yeah if you need anything and any, like any time, especially it. for mental health, I'm so all in. If you need me to speak somewhere, if you want like an influencer, like, dude, I'm so about this stuff. The one thing I'd love to interview you for the new channel once it comes out which is, I don't know when the fuck when. But cool, like, I'm, I will put it in my calendar. Dude, hell yeah. Okay. Uh, under my, yeah. I don't know when the fuck it's coming. Yes, exactly. Calendar, Have that as the yeah. date. Yeah. yeah, along no. with where your birthday is because yeah. no one knows what the fuck it yeah. is. Maybe your birthday. My birthday is September 13th, man. I'm cool. a Virgo. September 13th. 19. <laughs> All right, so we eliminated the fact that, okay, so you're not like 12, you're not 1200, yeah, so no. that's good. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not 19. Oh my gosh, if you were a 2000 baby, you literally can smoke a cigarette. <sighs> wow. Oh, it's 2019, right? Dude, that's 
Oh my, my gosh. I think exactly. I'm having anxiety. Like I'm actually having anxiety. The coffee gives me anxiety. I actually, I like, I, I, I've had a little anxiety this during this experience. You know, fun fact too, um, that I learned this weekend as well. And this is, cl- this is fucking clinical. Okay. I, this is a fact. This was not from me. You love the clinics. I, well, I just spent a couple of days with, I, I, I love, I love knowledge. I, I love facts and information that's proven by research, not shit. That's like, I think this is a good idea. And here's why based off of my opinion, most opinions aren't that good or at least Okay, so there's a thing called heuristic thinking. It's when you base your argument or your beliefs off of back-end knowledge that's happening in the back of your brain, but you don't check that knowledge. You, just, you assume it's true, and then you speak and believe on it. This is why, like, you know, politically we're very divided right now because a lot of people have these weird beliefs about certain things, and it's like statistically that's not true, but, like, you're kind of right, but you're wrong. And it, it, Heuristic thinking is a pretty tough thing to tackle, um, and I love, I love data and I love analytics and statistics because you take – the opinionated heuristic thinking out of the equation and you just deal with the facts and then you know actually why shit's happening like this. I really like I that, dude. that dude dude this also like you know vice news you've heard of vice yeah, news right yeah, yeah. so like i do you like them do you like them as a as a news corporation we'll, we'll say i'm i'm uh, i'm i'm like you have mixed feelings you're neutral i'm neutral yeah i'm neutral like i don't like them or love them i don't pay enough attention to them to like have a formulated opinion so this is what i like about vice news cool. yeah. is that they actually create stories and like they allow you to to learn more about the statistics they actually put statistics on awesome. on the actual like newscasting yeah and so and it's always like an episode like it's really intriguing yeah there's a lot of there's some bullshit to it yeah, but like but the fact is that when like when you're able to tap into this stuff, like news, and and it's not just like regular news. Like, don't just go to regular fucking news, like Fox no. News and stuff like that. Fox News, please sponsor me today. I um, really appreciate that. <laughs> right. No, but like when when you actually research stuff and mm-hmm. you read things, you have have things to base off so, uh, off of for your conversations. Yeah, you can go there. You can actually hold deeper conversations. You can provide more lo- knowledge across and the know board what the fuck you're and, and know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> And that's really cool because because I think opinions are really important, but when they're based off of false uh, experiences or mistakes, that doesn't work. High level political debates and when shit actually matters is when bad opinions are bad. Oh yeah, because you can have a bad opinion; it's an opinion. You you think what the fuck you want, but like if you're talking about like a subject that like really matters or there's lives at stake, like if you have a shitty opinion, like fix it, please. (laughs) Yeah, fix it. A lot of like right now, like with with mental health, there's this whole stigma, but like there's like. A lot of lives being lit to suicide. A lot of lives being lost right now because people have shitty opinions. They don't want right. to focus on this topic. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like bad opinions aren't good, but they're okay if it's not towards something serious. But yeah, so um, I forgot exactly where we were on. on we all we this. do, do. We were just talking about like this, like this, this the the coffee incorporated. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> dude, whenever we fuck up, we're like coffee incorporating uh, right, Rhino. Like, like dude, we're like building coffee. literally like a massive house right now. We're gonna need a big house like a lot beans. of square footage. It's so funny. We were actually talking before this podcast, and my man uh, Brandon, S- aka me. Mystic Seven, That's me. aka subscribe to the Create You Experience, not his channel. And no, I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. no, 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 <laughs> no. That you're to be determined channel. Okay. Yes. Yeah. The new one. Uh, yeah. Don't point. Yeah. Do, do that again. I, just do it just so I can show people what I do when someone points at me. Just go ahead and do it. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. Be like. Hey, hey. Ah. No, stop. Ah. Dude, dude, can you bring it? Bring it back. Bring it uh, back. Bring it back. Right, so this is what happened if you were to point at him. And I'm like, dude. Don't and point. then. You're lucky. I'm lucky he's recording. We're recording. Otherwise, my finger would be snapped. Yes. I, I literally I go, watched him do it to a pedestrian earlier. It was a little girl. She was about seven years dude, old. Dude. Broken finger. Dude, what are you talking That's about, man? <laughs> it was a potato in Whole Foods. Come oh, on. my gosh. We're going to have so much mochi after this stream, dude. I can't wait. Dude, have you ever... All right. Do you like sweet potatoes or regular potatoes better? Uh, regular potatoes. You're a horrific, <laughs> rustic potato. Oh, Isn't it called no. a rustic potato? Rustic? Wait, no. I'm definitely not what does a nutritionist. Rustic mean? You should like if you hire me as a dietitian, you should fire me immediately after. You literally offer to give me a meal plan, but they're Do not I take it. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. But here's 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 the thing, you? dude. I love I Harvey, love that you, trust dude. Them? I love that you just brought that up. Yeah, because I partnered with mm. a registered dietitian. I'm not one of those assholes mm. that I'm like, hey, dude, I'm a have a I have a good, good body. I have a six a pack. Actually, a five and a half a pack. Nice. And uh, nice. buy my nutrition protocol, yes. brother. Um, no, I, I don't. Brother, yeah, brother. Brother. I don't do that because um, I just don't think it's ethical. I'm big Fair. into, dude. I'm big into ethics. Like, yeah. Hey, good. If, Thank and, you. And morals, like, if you watching. I'm. I have my exercise Listen. physiology degree. Okay. I will want. Yeah. I, yeah. You just fucking pointed. I'm like, no. Nope. I'm. I'm literally. You're gonna be walking out. I'm just gonna come with a knife. <laughs> finger gone. Oh. But and then I'll I'll put it right here, like on the blast. Yeah. And just put it on. Put my finger somewhere on this wall. But dude, honestly, like, that's one of my. That's one of the things that. Uh, that motivates me yep. is how much bullshit there is out there of people that are that take advantage um, just because of something that they have or something that they've been through. Yeah. Like a lot of people actually take their story 
and their experiences, they stretch them out a little bit more so that it, it provides opportunity yeah. for either a revenue source yeah. or other like clout or like other opportunities. Like it's a strategy, but it's not an ethical strategy. Right. You it's know? it's manipulation. Like, that's when that's when strategy sociopathic. turns into manipula yeah. yeah. It's like soci yeah or yeah. Sociopath. Or you're a fucking psych psychopath. Or a psycho. Yeah, I'm if you're a psycho. psycho. That was a great song by was it Tech Nine and Kendrick? I, like, I don't know. Awesome <laughs> <song. Exactly. laughs> See this? This finger was supposed to be I, I, it's up, dog. It's up. But don't up dog. Ah Dude, dude, you can't dude. That's my ceiling, man. Ah uh, yeah, oh yeah. Are you going for a high five? Yeah, there. brother. I, here. Yeah, here, give me a high five. Brother. Okay. okay. All right, sweet. Sweet. Okay. Dude, you're a good dude. That's man. podcast. Thanks, man. You're too. good, dude. So Thanks. we're so we're actually going to Japan or not? so okay, here's here's I don't know the fucking dates yet. I'll be in Japan. Depending on what my business is looking like at the time, do you, you don't give a fuck about me, do you? How did you know? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Because I could, I could tell by all the sacrifices that you've made. Can, can you relate to this? I don't know where the fuck I'm gonna be next month until like it's close to next. Like my travel schedule is so fucked. Like I know I'll go somewhere, but like I don't know. Like, whew, planning is not a thing, and it's very last minute. But dude, you know how much how how benefit like how many benefits it brings when you you do plan. But like, as in like, I, so for example, like I know that I have to go to Japan in August, but I don't know when. Great, man. So I'm going to literally open up all of August for, <laughs> for you and I. Awesome. Okay. And all of your friends. Nice. Well, it'll be like a big homies trip. It's going to be dope. A lot of I would love stuff. to meet all of your friends. And sushi, dude. Fuck do they all oh do? Gosh. Wait, how yeah, good is the Pokemon sushi go. though? Is like, can we like, what, dude, I've never been to Japan. Okay. Okay. So, so, so sushi, sh sushi. Take that big camera, by the way. Let's just make sure that thing, that baby, baby, baby. Sushi is like a Japanese thing. Like, I've never had better sushi. I mean, obviously, there's good sushi places, but, like, you will never eat better sushi than in Japan. Mm. Although, in Singapore, my, my last meal in I was a fucking, I'm an asshole. My last meal in Singapore was an A5 Wagyu steak. You ever had A5 Wagyu? I don't eat steak. You don't? Red meat? Is you're, that red meat? Yeah, you're missing the fuck out. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. A5 Let Wagyu me tell steak. you, brother. Have you ever seen a cow? You know what? We're adding a cow into the house, and you can't kill it. Because, you know, dude, have you ever seen a cow wag its tail and chase you in love? No. Yeah. When you do, you'll never eat steak again. I'm I don't know, dude. A five wagyu is pretty oh, fucking. Gosh, damn it, man. <laughs> that oh, shit's super my, good. Dude, I'm melting vegan, your man. mouth steak. I'm vegan, like, man. Oh my god. I'm vegan. God. Like I dream about that. Are you steak. ignoring my veganism? What? That's what's gonna <laughs> plants. Oh, you do eat the plants in the place. No, I'm just kidding. I, I'm gonna have chicken or like bison or something okay. after this. Bison. See, I'm endangered, I, you asshole. And no, you're talking about cows. Fuck off, dude. <laughs> do, do you like rhinos or not? Yeah, that's why okay, I, didn't, I didn't. So respect my household. I didn't curb stomp that motherfucker for looking at me sideways because I respect them. Not, not you <laughs> okay, with the camera. So, the, the, so here's the thing, man. You, you, here's the thing. I, biceps. Bison are not endangered. What did, did you they? pull that out of your ass? Yeah, I did. That's I an did. ostrich, bro. In my ass or endangered? No, no. Freaking endangeredly in your ass. <laughs> that's it. And that's today's pot. No. Subscribe now. Create you. You can expand. eat ostrich, ostrich egg too. I've had ostrich egg before. You can eat ostrich, but I, dude, I can't because I feel like it's a human looking at me. Like, like imagine uh, a creepy looking human. Right. Like it looks at you. It's like it's like has two legs and it's going like this. Like the knees are going. It's fucking. Go down to my neck. Is like it's like this. It's like hello, you, hello. Ooh. Wait, we're allowed to have knees in this pot? Is this like? <laughs> oh. Are we, allowed, whole ass table. are we allowed to have knees in the podcast? I have fans who meet me sometimes. And I'm like, yo, it's so weird seeing you with legs. What the <laughs> fuck does that mean? It's because I hold the camera. Like, you know, like, yo, portion oh gosh, mode, dude, like, everyone's like, yo, Brennan, your legs are massive. But first they say, wow, you're a lot shorter in person. I hear that a lot. I kind of wanted to throw that in there for myself just for an ego boost. I, yeah. You know what? I said for you. So Thank also you, we're going to do like a standing comparison after this. You know, we're just going to. He's 6'5". You, you guys can't see it. I wish I was 6'5". 6'5 in Pokemon Go. Is that the, yeah? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna create a Tinder, and then I'm that's the, gonna be the that's gonna dude. Be five, six, I, did, five, I actually six, I five. dude. I had Brett Maverick on the show, yep. and um, he we went through a whole Tinder, dude. 2,200 2, people liked him, like matched him, and oh he has about gosh. a thousand conversations, bro. I could literally create my entire business <laughs> off of that. <laughs> right? Like I I was like, what does he do? Like, he how, opened how it up that much time. You're like, I, you know what? I was like, Today's hey, bro. Tinder I was like, hey, bro, are you good at Tinder? He's like, he's like, are he's you like, good at Tinder. He's like, well, let me, let me just show you. Like, I do all right. Yeah. And I look at it. He opens it up, and I'm like, dude, how does, or even <laughs> that many women in this world? <laughs> right? Like, this guy's like a man. A master man. No, I've, I've never been, wow, this is, a, I, I don't, okay, poof. Let me rephrase. I've never uh, had success with Tinder. Why not? That man? was the same fucking, You probably are the guy that, that does, that takes, <laughs> Uh -oh. Takes a picture of yourself in a mirror. In a suit. No, <laughs> or, in a suit. Or, or like you're at a wedding and you take a picture in your... Absolutely. Like, I've dressed like, my socks. Like that's what you're not supposed to do. 
So you know, I've learned. Yeah. I, this is crazy. I've learned that you've got to take a picture uh, in a suit. Okay. You got to pick, take a picture being social. You got to take a ass. picture. Um, yeah. Your ass. Uh, yeah. Of my like ass, ass. Of how fat my booty is. Exactly. Um, a B roll shot. So like a behind the scenes of like you doing something. Cool. Um, and, or in action. Yeah. Something like of you being outdoorsy. Yeah. Because girls really love that. Um, and then Hence something the with another girl in there, dude. I learned it's literally life. It's like, what do women like? Okay. They like all of that. Nice. Like, and then yeah. a trophy. You want to have a trophy in your hand. So like, yeah. literally just go like buy one like a fake trophy on amazon and and like just put first place in it can i ask and, you something what the women like pokemon go because <laughs> if not i'm fucked boys <laughs> I can, i'm boys. in trouble <laughs> no, no dude i i'm i i really do believe that a lot of women that are listening or watching right now are going to hit you up and be like hey i heard you on the on, on the show and oh. the one thing that i really love about you is you play pokemon go you're married bro like you're, get ready for a ring if you say that you're shit. a world yeah. traveler because of your pokemon go and i'm i'm the right po can you catch me if someone ever said that to me, I'd run away. I'd be like, this is too cheesy. <laughs> Catch me. Catch them all. All right, guys. We'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, dude, but, oh, man. The thing with Tinder, uh, I have, like, a weird, I'm going to sound like a fucking cocky asshole. I, like, time allocation, this was, I talked about this earlier, and you, you, I, I've talked about my schedule. Like, like, me with, like, time is your most valuable resource. It sounds cheesy, but it's true. Um, so, like, when I'm sat and I have, like, okay, like I can go out with this girl tonight and then, okay, if, if the date goes well, right, it's a, it's a, you, it's like a seven, it's like a 12 hour thing, like a 7 PM thing to a 7 AM. Yeah. Depending on who you are as a guy, right? You can kick their girl out, whatever. I, 7 PM to 7 AM thing. That's 12 fucking hours spent with a girl. And if that doesn't go anywhere, you just wasted 12 hours out of your, 12 hours out but of your no, day. But no, 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 and no, 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 you don't no, no, you, no, no, no. But that's my thing. So, so my days are so packed and when I'm not working on a video, I have a thousand other things I could be doing and a girl never factors in. Okay, bro. Let me tell you something. Relationship. Yeah. That's what that's what we're based off. We're based off of connection. Oh, in we're our emotional life. and connected. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. That's having a woman that you love yeah. by your side that supports you. That motive. That dude. That's so that's, motivational. It's like a fundamental thing of being a successful business person is like that support behind the business. Yeah, man. Like Bezos talks about. Yeah, that. like two, three, four. You know Bezos. It, not personally. Oh, Jeff Bezos. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I thought you were. I thought you said Bezos. Like Bezos Koulian. He's like a cool. He's also a really cool guy that. Oh. Like, owns. Owns like a bunch of fitness camp, uh, fitness boot camps. I don't know who he is, but he sounds he's nice. a podcast. Everybody check it out. Oh. Like, yeah, Patriots. Uh, but anyways, like, yeah, I, I actually think it attributes to to a lot of success, and uh, we no, sometimes push it away because we're too busy or whatever. But that's actually a stress reliever is talking to a girl yeah. or connecting with a girl or don't get me wrong or or a man uh, if you're if you're in a dude, oh, yeah. whatever a significant other a significant other. So yeah. that's definitely really important. But dude, uh, we like. Today we've talked about so much. Literally. And like coffee. We've already been on it here for over an hour. It's been over an hour? Yeah, over an hour. Is supposed to be right? an hour podcast? No, we just talk, bro. I'm sick. Sick. Here we go all night, boys. Yeah, no, but I, I don't care. But like, honestly, I, I actually want to summarize because I think yeah, there's right. so much stuff that we talked about. And yeah. um, although we were all over the place, we were actually structured with it yeah. like, in, in a well, way. Well, like all over the place is fun. Yeah. We had some fun tangents. Dude, that's what I love, Including man. I, I love just being ourselves and, and really showing up. But how could you summarize this? This whole thing? Yeah, man. Oh, shit. Give a little summary. All right. Don't curb stop rhinos. Okay. Okay. Don't try to incorporate coffee ink because we fucking have that. Yep. Gosh, Don't point dude, at him. You're quick. Nope. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, I mean, like, uh, use the resources that you have in your life. You don't have to be rich and famous, but, like, you have resources. You have connections. You right. know people, right? Use the resources that you have in your life to create positive change in your life, in your in, 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 in intermediate, not intermediate, your Fuck, that was immediate. great. Immediate. Immediate, thank you. It's been a lot. It, the two Don't weeks have been crazy. You were about to say the JC. Sorry. Sorry. I'm, I'm bad with that too. Okay, go ahead. Um, yeah, I mean, use the resources that you have in your life to create positive change in your circle, in your community, and in your world, right? You can. You don't have to have everything to create change. Right, bro. Yeah, create positive yeah. change. Do positive things. change at all times. And also, like, chase after whatever, whatever you're actually fuck chasing. Um, go after yeah. whatever you're, you're looking just try. To, to be. Yeah, just try. Just try. If you have an idea and you want to do it, like, especially if you're young, you can fuck up. Just try. Yeah. Make the mistakes. That's what Create You is all about. And the Create You experience is uh, take these experiences and move them into your life. The way we talk today, imagine if you had conversations with people that like this all the time. Yeah. That is like so inspiring. That motivates me when yeah. I think about it. So like get out of your comfort zone, share your story, um, and relate with people by just communicating. That's all talk you need to deeper. do. Talk deeper. Talk deeper. And, you know, there's so many people around you that are suffering from mental illness. Mm -hmm. I, I fucking hate the word illness. That, that, are, that are suffering from... Uh, uh, poor mental wellness is one way. Mental illness is like, that's when it's clinical. 
but like mo- a lot, a majority of the people, the population, it's it's poor mental wellness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like mental wellness a lot more than mental health. Take too. care of not only your body with working out, but the nutrition, then also your mental well-being. And you can do this through yeah. meditation and different practices, reading, just talking to people, learning from new people, working out. sharing, working out. Yeah. So do all this stuff and stop holding back. Really, y- your vision's beautiful. It really is. And until you start tapping into it, you won't understand it. You understand why it's so beautiful. Just so, go for it. Just go for just it. Just do it. So, dude, thank you so much. Where can they find you? Yeah, okay. So, uh, I mean, on YouTube, Mystic7. Uh, if, you, if you just look up Pokemon Go, I'll show yeah, up. Brother, yeah, yeah, brother. Yeah, brother. I'm famous. With the probably. rhino. Okay. With the rhyme. Yeah, yeah. So on Twitter, uh, I mean, just at Mystic7, Instagram, Mystic7, uh, LinkedIn. I just created a LinkedIn. Actually, the, the purpose of that was to post more long form stuff and studies and thought pieces. Uh, oh, wow. Like not, mental health related, not Pokemon Go related stuff. So, I mean, on LinkedIn, I'm. Dude, I'm pretty sure like five people that are listening to this or watching this have LinkedIn. No, I'm kidding. Not I, a lot of people I, do. I, <laughs> no, 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 it's, no, not yeah. that many. It, um, it's like a different realm of social media. And it's like that demographic that I'm publishing too. You know, right. People and that actually read my shit. But yeah, yeah. So, so, I mean, just Mystic7 on social media platforms um, and then Brandon Martin on LinkedIn. And look out for um, some mental health stuff happening in the future. I don't know what the fuck yeah. the name of I know what the name of the platform will be. I can't share that. Hell yeah. uh, I don't know what the YouTube channel will be, but Dude, like, it'll be dope. This is amazing. Thank you so much, bro. Thank Dude, you so thank much for you. coming on. It's Absolutely. it's amazing. And we're definitely gonna go to Japan. We're gonna eat some sushi. Yes. We're gonna yes. play some Pokemon Go. But more than that, bro, I, I'm actually glad that we connected because we connected through Kevin Hines, an incredible guy. Yeah. Jumped off the Golden State Bridge, inspired myself, inspired you, yes. and he's changing and transforming the world. Fuck change. I believe in transformation. Transform. So like it's just incredible. So I'm glad that he connected you and I. And here's the thing. When you network with people and you talk to people, um, you, you have no clue who you're going to meet. You don't, you don't know if it's the love of your life. You don't know if it's your best friend. You yep. don't know anything until you truly just start talking and start asking. Let's do yes, it. Yes, just speak. Just talk. Yeah. It's possible. So thank you again for tuning in for another episode of the Create You Experience. Remember, if you're here on audio platform, we are on YouTube. And if you're watching on YouTube, we're on audio platform. So if you're ever in the car, go check it out. Share it with a friend. Share it with a coworker. We have some awesome stuff coming every single week. I really enjoy sitting down with guests like like Brandon here and Mystic7 and, and, and really just talking, discussing. There's never any scripts. We don't like before we're like, hey, bro, what are we going to talk about? No, it's just like, <laughs> hey, let's just chat. As you could tell That's from all what's the, like, beautiful. the side yeah. Yeah, all the side streets. So remember, create your vision today. Don't hold back. Your vision is beautiful and it is all possible. So again, thank you for tuning in for another episode of the Create You Experience. Make sure you review the podcast on iTunes. I would really, really uh, appreciate... That's what I do on YouTube all the time. I'd really appreciate that. Go into the description or the show notes to learn a little bit more about the podcast. You can also go to our website, createyouagency.com slash and look up the podcast there. Um, And yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Peace. I'm dedicated to growth. I keep my mind right. I fell down, got up. I'm unbreakable. Anything in my way, I'm a breakthrough. Lights, camera, action, take two. Can't worry about what they do. You got to create you.